Charles Folkart, October the 2nd, 2000. I want to welcome everyone. Thank you for supporting this channel. I'm going to relate to you something that happened just in the last couple of days. I got a call. Oh, before I, before I go there, uh, this same fella, he said he watched the video, uh, is the moon 238, does the moon look 238,000 miles away to you? And he says, you forgot to mention uh, there is no space. Okay, um, that's why I like people to contribute. Folks, there is no space. It's all been a hoax. Everything you think is space has just been a picture. And like I said, and I was duped too, folks. They show you an image, and then they tell you what it is and what it means and how you should think about that image. And now they got you. Because everything, it, every time you think about space, you think about what? Captain Nemo. Or was that his name? And, and Shatner, right? Cap, or um, Spock. And forever and ever and ever, right? Which is exactly the opposite of the way it really is. You shall know the reality, and the reality shall set you free. Are you free? You know, most people are afraid of reality. I see it here in Montana. And I have a buddy that works for the convenience uh, shop here in town. Uh, um, and they sell gas, and you go inside, and you buy I mean, they got everything in there now, right? Uh, and he says, man, you will not believe the amount of alcohol we sell. He, because he goes in, in in the freezer in the cooler, and he has to put put them back on the shelf. On the that's a hard job too. But anyway, he says, "Man, you wouldn't believe, especially on a sports day, <laughs> on preparation for a sport event, F folks. That's why they want you involved in sports. You can gamble, you can drink booze, you can get f on a Sunday out the best day of the week, your day off." The day you should be thinking about God and and uh, the, the scriptures and meeting with each other and, and being glad that you're alive. And this is the day the Lord has made. Remember me. This do in remembrance of me, you know. And what are you doing? You're sitting there on the couch swilling beer. Never did get that. But, hey. He said there is no space, and that's what really helped him out, so maybe it'll help out some of you. The reason for this video is this. He also said, you know, remember back a couple of years ago or a year and a half ago where I was falsely accused by a young lady, and then I took all the evidence in to the police, and the, based on the evidence, they said that she didn't have a case and that she was probably lying. I, could, I don't want to go into all the... Uh, particulars but he said the other day he went to the club and they wouldn't and uh, the same girl that falsely accused him wouldn't let her in she was the one at the front door checking the ids and she knew no, she knew him she says i can't i'm not gonna let you in and he said why not because you're a and then she said what she accused him of in front of everybody Okay, she committed slander, folks. Um, so he went around. He didn't quit there. He didn't take no for an answer. And he got in. But then the next time he tried to go back, the management had gone to the owner, and the owner said, we're not going to let you in. And so he's calling me to see if there's anything we, he can he can do. And he's saying, you know, I, I the problem w with with us white males today is we don't push back we don't what you know so we're trying to think about he wants to find out if he can sue so i told him what he needed to do and he uh he needed to find a a cause of action so i didn't want to do his homework for him but then last night i went in and i did a quick search and you know what i don't think he has a case she has a case to keep him out uh but she doesn't really have a legal case, but she's got the support behind her to keep a white male from going into the pub. So here we have a liar and a slanderer, 
who has more rights than the white male who's been falsely accused. And that's been going on, and I know all about that, folks, and that's why this really gets me going. And so he, now we're trying to think about what we're going to do. And he, he said, you know, what would happen if we got a boycott of, uh, of that club? And I got to thinking about that last night, and I haven't spoken to him about this yet, so he might, uh, when he calls me, I might have to tell him, go watch the video, buddy. I'm, it's all about your situation. So, there we are. There's a club in the Midwest that won't let a white male into the club because of a, because of accusations by a, member of the opposite sex and who's who's slandering him she gets to keep her job we ought to get her fired that's what we ought to do folks let's get let's get the phone number and the address and and the email of this club and let's let's let them know what we think you know i don't know i don't have that many people who subscribe and follow and watch but hey i don't know where this is gonna go right anyway that's what i have there's a lot of things to talk about man i there's 20 21 trillion dollars missing sixty five thousand dollars per each american i think you know what i could do with sixty five thousand dollars right now folks you know and these people are getting away with stealing trillions and making you pay interest and you're putting up with that shit? I, I just can't believe that people aren't up in the fucking arms, folks. What the hell is wrong with everybody? Anyway, I get pretty, I get pretty, I get, you know what? There's a battle here. If the other, if the other young man wants to go for it, uh, they picked on the wrong people, man. And I got, you know what? When you got nothing to lose, you got nothing to lose. The enemy better watch out for you because you're, I'm not going to say what I am, but I tell you what, I got nothing to lose. I got nothing to lose. And uh, anyway, you know, it's going to get to, you know, it's too bad in this country that it's going to have to get to the point where there's, a large number of people with nothing left to lose and that's when we're going to have the revolution and the revolution is coming the revolution is coming and but we leaders we need to get together and we need to make a plan we don't have one of the uh, there's a video out there what's the plan what's the plan I can look at the Germans and they got a, a 25 point plan and, you know, where's the plan? Where's the plan? We'll be caught up in this North Korea, NFL. Uh, NFL, man, you shouldn't even be watching. You shouldn't even be watching that crap. You know, let's... Uh, let's make an, uh, an hour on uh, Sunday afternoon that we collectively think about what it is that we want to do. You know, the white race can use their creative mind and can plan their future, and then they can work towards that future that they want. That's what makes the white race different from all the other races. So, but uh, what are most white men doing? And they're watching the image of the beast and they're getting programmed and they're drinking PBR and Budweiser and all those 48 can box they could buy at Costco and the whole the whole ship is sinking and they think they're going to be okay <laughs> cuz you're going to have you know what there's not even going to be a life raft for you people all right anyway that's my rant for the morning we got something going there in Ohio I don't know where it's going to go and if it doesn't go anywhere it won't be my fault and I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. There is no space. It's all fake. It's all fake. The moon landing was fake. It, ISS is fake. It's all fake, folks. It's all fake. 
God's creation is real. That's the reality. A firmament with the water above it, water below. And the water can come all the way up to I was on the mountaintop here the other a month ago, and I hiked up 6,500 feet. And at the three quarters of the way up, there was icy, cold spring water coming out of the side of that mountain. And if you haven't seen that in your lifetime, you're missing something, folks. You're missing something. Anyway. May his grace be upon us all, for we certainly need it. See ya.